be in healthcare before I was an artist. And so when, um, when I took a drawing class in college, I really enjoyed it, loved it. And so I could work on a drawing for eight hours and not even realize what was going on. So I knew I loved still art. Happens. I know, it still does happen. <laughs> and so I, I, uh, I changed and went into creating art. And then after I was working on art for a while, I, I still wanted to you, you, you do something. Okay, so my process is relatively simple. I usually have the experience with the individual with these series of vulnerability paintings. It's a specific experience as a paramedic that I've had with that individual other paramedics. And it is usually seared in my mind, and I have a really bad memory. So <laughs> searing things in my mind, it needs to be pretty profound. I have that experience, and then I try to recreate a good composition that would match that experience. So each composition is used by like the rule of thirds or the golden mean or whatever is needed to be able to draw the individual's eye to a certain area of the painting. The experience that I would hope individuals would get from this, and it's hard to, to force people to go in a direction that you're wanting them to go, and everybody's going to have a different experience based off of our history, based off of what we're uh, surrounded by, but I would hope that people could walk in, see the art pieces, and be moved to become better individuals. Not necessarily better individuals like, oh yeah, I'm gonna earn a million dollars now or anything like that, but better individuals in terms of helping each other out or supporting each other because everybody is going to have an experience where they're vulnerable. So